After we left the rim of the deep, deep Copper Canyon high in Mexico's Sierra Madre Mountains, our train crested at 8,000 feet elevation and arrived in Creole in the state of Chihuahua. From Creole, we spent the day visiting the surrounding area. Now, this is high mountain country, similar to the area around Flagstaff. There are forests and lakes and broad open valleys where the Tarahumara Indians live. And the Indians are not a sociable people, and the few villages usually center around old Spanish missions, such as this one at Cusarare. It's over 200 years old, still being used, still dispensing the word of God to a people who may or may not be listening. El Valle de los Dioses, the Valley of the Gods, a few square miles of what or who frozen for all eternity. They say the Tarahumara hurry through here if they even come at all. It seems an empty land. The Tarahumara you see in any numbers will be on well-structured tours or at the train stations. And back on the train, on our way to Los Mochis, as we have reported, this is a train trip worth taking. It travels one of the finest and most audacious stretches of railroading anywhere, up through the canyons and steep ridges of an almost impenetrable range of mountains. There are switchbacks and even one 360-degree loop of first-class railroad. A first-class railroad where things are sometimes still done simply by hand. This deep cut used to be a tunnel until it caved in. Now, this man's sole job in life is to stay in this lonely place and walk the cut during the day and night to check for fallen rocks. Any trouble, and he simply stands in the track and waves down the train. Now, the first-class train is first class. The coach cars are modern and clean, service in the dining room is tasty, and most of the train personnel speak at least some English. Now, it is hot enough to fry eggs and humid enough to keep them from drying out down on the coast at Los Mochis right now, but it is cool in the mountains. And a stay at the Hotel Posada Barranca, say, on the rim of the Copper Canyon, is a relaxing, pleasing affair. No crowds right now. And cocktails on the veranda and sunset in Canyon de Cobre. Well, it's a good trip. And this is Bill Everton, New Center 10, just a little south of the Arizona Road. <laughs>